Hello people, so I have a very exciting video today. I am going to be sharing with you my entire Hufflepuff collection. So as a lot of you may know, I am a proud Hufflepuff. I love everything to do with Hufflepuff and I'm a Harry Potter collector. So it's only fitting I'm going to have loads of Harry Potter things. So yes, I have everything around the floor with me. I'm actually sitting on the floor right now because I thought it'd just be easier to get everything. That and the fact that I have a little Hufflepuff section in my bookcase, which is now empty because all of the contents are on the floor. So I just thought I'd just sit on the floor and you can see some of the lower sections of my bookshelf. So yes, I'm very excited to film this video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, then please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't already, then why not subscribe? to join my little magical corner. Okay, let's go because I have a lot to show you. So, first things first, I'm going to show you a blanket that I have. It's a very popular blanket, it's from Primark, and I absolutely love it because it's so Hufflepuffy and so yellow and bright and cheerful and, and also so very warm and cozy. Here is my Hufflepuff blanket. I'm quite sure a lot of you guys would have this blanket or a blanket in your own house if you're not a Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff blanket, absolutely love it. Had to get it and yeah, love that. Next up is cushions and I have five of them. So I guess I'm just gonna start with the smallest and work my way up. So the first one I have, which is also from Primark, is this one. Just a bog standard Hufflepuff crest. It's yellow. On the other side, there's black and yellow stripes. It's not really practical for actual cushion purposes, you know, comfort purposes, but it's perfect for displaying purposes, which let's be real, that's what all of us are using our Hufflepuff cushions for. <laughs> Moving on to the next size up is this one from Geek Gear. It's black with a Hufflepuff crest on. It says loyalty at the bottom. On the other side, it's just a normal creamy color. Absolutely love that. The next cushion I have is this one, which I got from Etsy. It has this really beautiful yellow patterned material around the outside with this black cross and a Hufflepuff crest there. On the other side is just black. And yeah, again, absolutely love that. My second from largest cushion is this one from the studio tour in London. Again, I'm sure a lot of you would have these. Got these nice black and yellow patterns around the outside with a badger on that one there. There's the Hufflepuff crest. The other side is just plain yellow. And the best part about this cushion is the little tassels. I do love these tassels. And the last Hufflepuff cushion I own is this one, which is also from Etsy, I believe. So it's just a white cushion, but it has this really beautiful, artistic, it kind of looks like splattered paint around the outside of this white Hufflepuff logo here. It looks a little bit dirty, but it's not. It's just covered in cat hair because I've got two black cats. But yes, I really love this one. Again, I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and I just had to own it. So yes, this is the biggest Hufflepuff cushion that I own and it's definitely a favourite. Okay, so I'm going to move on to prints. I have two. I say two. One of them is hand-drawn. These are both framed. I framed them myself because I love having them on display. Here is the first one. It is a hand drawing of the Hufflepuff crest. This was actually drawn by my boyfriend, Scott, last year. He just, he had his own little personal project. Of course, I had to frame it and it lives on top of my bookshelf. I absolutely love it. There's a lot of effort and love went into this and is definitely quite special. The second and last Hufflepuff print I have is this one. This was from Geek Gear a long time ago. And again, I framed it myself. I absolutely fell in love with this. It goes really well in this black frame and yeah it just has a badger standing on top of a Hufflepuff crest. Right so the next little section of this Hufflepuff collection is necklaces. Again I have a little bit of a collection going on so I'm going to start with this one. I actually got it for Christmas so I can't tell you where it's from. I think it came free in this like Hogwarts acceptance letter set which I do have. Yeah it's just a black chain. It's round and it has a Hufflepuff crest crest in the inside with this nice fiery kind of outline. Love that. The next one I would like to show you is this one which has a black, I don't know what you call it, this black material with a metal Hufflepuff crest. I actually got this in a bath bomb. I don't know if you saw my <laughs> video where I did a sorting hats bath bomb thing. It was an April Fool's video but I got this in that. The bath bomb I got from Etsy. The next one I have to show you I think I got from Amazon. A nice simple silver chain 
again and then it has this little kind of corked bottle with Hufflepuff crest on and loads of different yellow beads filling the inside. The next necklace I would like to show you is this one again on a silver chain. I know, kind of locket thing. It's rounded, it's see-through and it opens up like a locket I guess and it has loads of little yellow beads in and a miniature little badger on the inside. This I actually got from Geek Gear. Some of the little beads on, in the inside I've actually added. But yeah, I think this is really cute. And the last necklace I have to show you is this one. It's more of a pocket watch than a necklace, but you, you can still wear it as a necklace. I got this from a Loot Crate box. It has a little badger on the top here and then the watch itself has a beautiful Hufflepuff crest design on the front. So yes, this is what the inside looks like. It's not showing the correct time. I've not adjusted the time on it. I love this. Next up, my Hufflepuff pin collection. So a lot of these you may have seen in my pin collection video which I did recently. So yes, I'm gonna start with one of my favorite pins which I got from Geek Gear, which is this one. It is a badger wearing a scarf. Keeping on the subject of Geek Gear, there was this set of three pins that came in a box. So you have the Hufflepuff jumper, the Hufflepuff scarf and a Hufflepuff tie and just such a cute little set. We have head girl and head boy pins which are also from Geek Gear. A pin that came in last month's Geek Gear box is a Quidditch captain pin so they're a very nice little set there. I love these pins so much. I just think they're so cool. Along with the head girl and head boy badge I also have a prefix badge which I got from the studio tour. I have another tie pin which is slightly smaller but also slightly cuter. A Quidditch themed Hufflepuff crest badge which came in a set from Primark and then just a bog standard Hufflepuff crest pin which I got online because I was missing a Hufflepuff crest pin. That's all of my Hufflepuff themed pins so far. Let's move on to another mini section, my book section. So the first one is this Hufflepuff diary slash journal which I think I got from HMV last year but you can get these anywhere I think well online definitely. I just keep this on display on my bookshelf. You guys know which books are coming next. The next Hufflepuffy book I have is the house edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I love the little details you get in these books and the last Hufflepuffy book is of course the Hufflepuff edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This time it's all in yellow with the writing in black. That's them. I am very excited to continue this collection. My next section is wearables but I have a little mini section, subsection of socks. I have a few Hufflepuff socks. So the first ones are these, these little ankle socks which I think are from Primark. They came in a house set. You may have seen these in my lookbook video I did recently. The next set I have are the longest ones I own. Black and yellow and they say Hufflepuff. These I got from the studio tour. The next ones are these which I got from a Geek Gear box. They are black with a Hufflepuff tie going down the front there. Another Geek Gear pair I have are these. They are yellow with black glasses and the black scar kind of design that Geek Gear do a lot. And lastly, my last pair of socks are these, which I got from a Loot Crate box. I really like these. They are grey with yellow bits everywhere and the Hufflepuff crest. They are really nice quality. They're really thick. These would be perfect to wear in winter. Another subsection pajamas. So I have two sets of pajamas and one nighty, all from Primark. So the first ones here is the top. It's a vest top and it has the Hufflepuff crest and it says Harry Potter. It also says property of Hogwarts School and Witchcraft and Wizardry in the bottom corner here. Here are the shorts which are black and they have badges and stars and the Harry Potter logo on and a random pointing hand. A sorting hat. My second set of pajamas which I prefer Again, our vest and shorts, very summery. So the vest top, it's gray. It has a badger on, it says loyalty, kindness, honesty, and friendship, and it has the crest at the bottom there. Here are the bottoms, which are gray and yellow stripes. And then here is the nighty I own, which again, I wore in my Hufflepuff lookbook video. There's a badger, house crest. It's white and gray striped all the way down. Very retro pajama -y. It says property of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in the collar bit here, and then C Diggory because apparently this is what Cedric Diggory wore when he was at Hogwarts. I own one Hufflepuff jumper and it is the greatest, single most perfect and beautiful jumper that I will ever own. It is of course the Quidditch Hufflepuff 
jumper. I got this from the studio tour. I absolutely love this. It's so long and so cozy, comfortable to wear. You know, it's not itchy at all or anything. It has the Hufflepuff crest. It has this black line. And yeah, it just looks exactly like the jumpers they wore in the films. I have two Hufflepuff t-shirts. Well, actually I have three. I'm wearing one. The t-shirt I'm wearing is from a Geek Gear wearable box. It just says hard workers were most worthy of admission with a little Hufflepuff crest at the bottom. The second one I have is this one which is all black with the Hufflepuff cup on it and it just says loyalty. This is of course from Geek Gear. Again, I wore it in my lookbook video. And the last one I have to show you is this one, which again is from a Loot Crate box. It's this nice mustard yellow color and it has this really nice print on the front with a silhouette -y kind of badger design and it says Hufflepuff. And just like the Geek Gear t-shirts, lovely quality and fits really well. This video is going on forever. I have two Hufflepuff banners both are from Geek Gear. The first one we got was this one. It's very thin, it's see-through, it has the Hufflepuff crest on it. The other one we got from Geek Gear was this one, which is a dark orangey yellow colour with a badger on, and it's really long, it comes to a point at the bottom. And now we're on to the last section of this collection video, which is just miscellaneous things. Let's start off with candles. I have two candles. The first one here is from Geek Gear. It says House Artisan Candles. It is vanilla scented. It does smell like vanilla. And my other candle is from Primark. It ha just has the Hufflepuff crest on it and again smells really nice. I love these candles. I love the little HP design with the snitch going around it that they have on top. A few other items from Primark. I have this dish thing which is what I keep my necklaces on on my book shelf. I love this kind of huffle puffy kind of jumper design that they have. And to go with it, I have this mug, which has the same pattern going around it, the same crest. Um, it's a really cute mug. Uh, it's not one I'm drinking out of. It is on display. Speaking of mugs, I have another mug here. This is from the studio tour. It has a really beautiful design all around the outside. It has a badger on it. It says loyal. This is my hot chocolate mug. Other random things I have, I have a Hufflepuff tie. This isn't a Noble Collection tie. This is actually from Loot Crate. It has a cute little badger design on it and yeah it's really nice quality. I really need to buy some Hufflepuff robes so that I can dress up as a Hufflepuff but I don't want to get the Noble Collection ones because they're so expensive and I just think I'm, I'm not going to wear them very often. So if anyone knows of any cheap online Hogwarts robes that look nice enough quality that aren't as expensive as the ones in Noble Collection or the Studio Tour or anything else like that please let me know because I would really like to buy some because I want to dress up as a Hufflepuff Hogwarts student. <laughs> I have a random patch here. I believe this one was from a Loot Crate box. Uh, yeah, it's just an iron-on patch. I did have another patch somewhere. I don't know where I've put it. I've put it away somewhere. But yeah, it's actually a Quidditch-themed Hufflepuff cre crest. Crest. I am finding it very difficult to say the word crest now because I've said it so many times in this video. I have a random magnet which again was from a Loot Crate box. Just a really simple design Hufflepuff crest on it which actually does live on my fridge. A few other items from Noble Collection. I have a bookmark which actually lives in one of my Hufflepuff books. It's really beautiful, nicely designed. I also have the Hufflepuff Noble Collection pen which is just stunning. Absolutely love it. Again on display in my bookshelf. And you know I I've saved the best item till last. Another Noble Collection item and my favourite item of all time, I think. It is of course the Hufflepuff cup. It's it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I had to get the Hufflepuff cup because I'm a Hufflepuff and it's really heavy. It actually has a hole down here because it's not a drinkable thing. You can't drink out of it and they've put that hole there to stop you. But yes, this is absolutely beautiful. Of course it lives in my bookshelf. And I also have the miniature version which I got from Geek Gear a while ago. It's just all bronze coloured. It's still really cute though. I do really like this. Yeah, you can see in comparison how much smaller it is. But it's just a, it's just a cuter version. That. I believe is everything. That is my entire Hufflepuff collection. I may have missed a few nicks and knacks here and there which I have tucked away somewhere, but that is 
all the stuff that matters, that's all the stuff I have on display, all the stuff that I love. When I thought about doing this video, I thought, oh yeah, it won't take that long, it's only my Hufflepuff collection, it's not going to be my entire collection, but I think half of my collection, if not more, is actually Hufflepuff stuff. Yeah, I actually did really enjoy doing this video, I love showing off all of my stuff for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to leave a like, well, let me know in the comments what items from my collection you loved, what items would you love to get, even if it's not something that I have what would you like to get if you're new to my channel and you haven't already then please don't forget to subscribe to join my little magical corner i make videos every single week so come and subscribe to join the fun thank you all very much for watching and i will see you next time <laughs>